Hello everyone, in this video let's talk about data types in C. So what is meant by a data type? Data type means it is the type of data being stored in the variable. Okay, it specifies the type of data being stored in the variable. That means what type of data is variable holding that will be specified by this data type. So in C language we have three different three different data types. So what are those? Primitive data types, derived data types, and user defined data types. Okay. So under primitive data types, we have int, float, double, long, long, double, care, void. Okay. All this comes under primitive data types. So primitive data types are fundamental data types. That means basic data types in C language. Okay. So if you observe all these data types, int, float, double, long, long, double, care, void, all these are keywords in C language. As you already know, in C language we have totally 32 keywords. Okay. So the keyword means it is a reserved word with some fixed meaning. That meaning can't be changed by the user. Okay. So all these are inbuilt data types. Okay. Predefined data types in C language. Okay, next coming to derived data types, second type. So derived data types means the data types which are derived from fundamental data types. Those are called as derived data types. So here the examples for derived data types are arrays, pointers and functions. All these concepts comes under derived data types. Okay, next one is user defined data types. The data types which are defined by the user. Okay. So those are called as user defined data types. So structures, unions, enum. Okay. All this comes under user defined data types. So like this we are having three different data types in C language. So about these two derived data types and user defined data types. Okay. We have to learn uh, about these two different data types that is a derived and user defined data types in later videos in detail. Okay. So these are all separate topics there we will learn about these data types in detail. But now in this video our main focus is only on these primitive data types. Okay. So about these fundamental data types we are going to learn int, float, double, long, long, double, care, void. Okay. So about these data types because all these data types we will use in a programming. Okay. In each and every program we will use some data types will specify some data types while you while you are using a variable you have to specify a data type which data type it is holding okay you have to specify that so here all these uh, fundamental data types uh, we will use in programming so we have to know about each and every data type the size of the data type uh, and the range of the values it holds and also the format specifier of each and every data type okay so here if you come if you come to this primitive data types okay so these are all comes under primitive data types okay so here first one is c the data type what are the various data types and next one is size how much size it holds so here i am representing the size in the in the form of bytes okay so one byte means nothing but 8 bits zeros and ones are called as bits binary data representation will be there internally okay so that's why uh, we have to know the size of each and every data type also okay and the range okay in which range the what are the range of values it holds each and every data type and next one is a format specifier so this format specifier uh, we will use this uh, uh, we will use this format specifiers uh, yeah, in in for uh, input and output purposes Okay, for input and output purposes, we have to know about this format specifier. So, depending upon these values, the compiler can understand which data type it is holding, a variable is holding. Okay, so if you if you provide a percentage C, mainly these are used in a printf and scanf statements. Okay, so if you provide percentage C, the compiler can understand, okay, character data type, the variable is holding. If you provide percentage D, it represents integer data type. If you provide percentage of a float data type like this, according to the uh, providing uh, that means according to the format specifier which the user provided, the compiler can understand what type of data a variable is holding.
so under primitive data types we have all these data types okay so first coming to character data type so we have two character data types that is a signed character and unsigned character so for signed character here the range is from minus 128 to 127 okay that means it holds both positive as well as negative values so the size for both unsigned and signed character is one size one byte only okay so the format specifier for both signed and unsigned character is percentage c okay so for unsigned character it the range means it holds only positive values from 0 to 255 okay all it takes only positive values and including zero so the range is from 0 to 255 next coming to integer so under integer we have four types that is a short or int unsigned int long unsigned long so the size for short int okay see for short or int is it takes two bytes of space two bytes of size two bytes means 2 into 8 one byte is 8 bits so 2 into 8 16 bits and the range is a minus 32768 to plus 32767 okay so for signed integer once uh, one bit is allocated for sign for sign flag okay and uh, for the format specifier is a percentage d percentage d we have to use for integer data type okay that is the format specifier and next coming to unsigned int so for unsigned int it takes only positive values and including zero okay so the size is 2 uh, bytes same as uh, uh, signed int and here the range is from 0 to 65535 the format specifier is a percentage u okay for long that is long integer it takes four bytes of size okay and the range is minus 21474836482 plus 21474836472 and the format specifier is a percentage ld as it is a long integer ld you have to use okay and for unsigned long it takes four bytes of size okay and uh, the range is 0 to 42949672952 and the format specifier is a percentage lu okay next coming to floating point so float float data types means it takes a decimal points okay so under float data type we have three different types that is float double and long double so it the float data type it takes a uh, four bytes of space four bytes means 4 into 8 32 bits and the range is a uh, 3.4 e to the power of minus 38 to plus 3.4 e power plus 38 okay so as it is a floating float data type percentage f is the format specifier next coming to double it takes eight bytes of space 8 bytes of size that means 8 into 8 64 bits and the range is 1.7 e to the power of minus 308 to 1.7 e to the power of plus 308 e means here exponential values okay and next one is the format specifier for double is percentage lf next to coming to long double so it, the size is 10 bytes 10 into 8 80 bits okay and the range is 3.4 e to the power of minus 49322 1.1 e to the power of plus 4932 and the format specifier is a percentage lf okay so in addition to this we have another data type in a primitive data types under primitive data types that is a void void means void does not return any value and it is an empty data type okay that means void is the meaning for void means the keyword void means nothing or no value associated with it that is the meaning of void okay it is an empty data type so these are all the data types that comes under primitive data types okay so that's about data types in c language thank you